Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today is February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, and, well, the little cupids over at Evic have delivered me something pink! Very, very pink! So let's take a look at it. This is the custom-made, custom-ordered by Evic.com, HKG36, available in pink. Now, this is the $150 model. Um, meaning it has a polymer body, a metal gearbox, it doesn't have blowback, it doesn't have too many of the funky other features that some of the other licensed Umarex HKG36 replicas have. However, it is very, very affordable and has very skirmishable performance out of the box. Now, this isn't just a base gun that somebody took in the back with a can of pink Krylon and uh, pinkified. No, this is actually pink molded polymer. The actual plastic that's used in the body of this is pink and white. There are some parts that are painted, these rails are metal and they've been painted white. Um, but this is, it's a very, very pink gun. Now, a lot of people will ask, why the hell did somebody justify putting together a pink G36? Because, because there's a lot of girls that are getting into airsoft and we, some of us male airsofters, tend to be a little bit misogynistic and feel that they need to have pink guns. Well, I don't feel that way. Lady airsofters, if you want to run something tan, or black, or even gold. Go nuts. You don't have to have a pink gun, but guess what? If you'd like to have a pink gun, it's nice to know that you have options. Again, this gun comes in at $150, is shooting at 360 feet per second, and does feature a quick change spring system so you can adjust the velocity on the fly. In fact, we're going to see if we can do that really quick. Not a full adjustment, however, you pull this rear pin out, you push this little guy down, which will, if I can get it, it's a little tricky, there you go, pulls out that, and you have access to the quick change spring system. You really don't have to disassemble it any further than that. Now, this is the same type of gearbox that would be running in the blowback, the electric blowback units. However, it does not have the blowback shuttle, which I prefer because now it has, you know, a little bit more durability, you've got better battery performance, and you don't have to worry about this little bolt hack, 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 hacking every time you shoot. Now, the gun is purported to be lipo-ready. Now, you guys know my stance on that. Every gun is lipo-ready, just depending on how quickly you want to replace stripped out parts. However, with my medium output, Tenergy 11.1 volt, 1000 milliamp hour, 20C LiPo battery, the thing has been running just fine. Your trigger response is quite good. And on full auto, you have a decent rate of fire. It's not anything groundbreaking, but the thing to remember, this is a $150 gun. And it has a full metal gearbox. It's mostly polymer construction, like the real gun. There's a lot of plastic. But the thing, I mean, it's got a tiny bit of flex in it if you really start twerking on it. But the thing is really quite solid for what it is. And also, it's pink. That's ridiculous and hilarious. And this is available exclusively at evic.com. Now, we've got plans for this gun. Ridiculous grand plans. So uh, stay tuned to the channel in the next few weeks and see what we have in store with this. Also be sure to check out Booling and Airsoft and Airsoft Retreat for my full written and photo review of this gun, as well as a few other goodies that we recently received from evic.com and more. Thanks for watching.